I think we have some places to put those. And Mara? Well, I think we're um, almost getting to a negative bent here, and I sent you on? some M and M, Scott. <laughs> That's what I use when I get cranky. Um, Ellen but, passed us kisses, so. <laughs> Commissioner Predis, I know that um, John Conley helped put the state of Texas on the map in the United States mm -hmm. as far as higher education. And since then, um, we have learned a lot, and we have improved, and we have done things in a different way. But I think the conversation today sounds like this is a totally uniquely um, Texas problem. Uh, you are probably well aware of what other states are doing and the challenges that they are facing. So if we're losing all of our smart people, where are they going? And could you direct us to states that don't have this struggle. I, from everything I've read, every state is going through these same struggles, these same questions. And I have always had a lot of confidence in the ability of Texans to step up to the plate and not do what's perfect, but do what is right for the state. Sometimes it's more in the long run than the short run. And so that's where we're struggling right now, but I think we shouldn't get too self-abusive here. Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, suggesting that uh, we should be uh, self-abusive. Uh, I'm suggesting that... that no, I uh, know you weren't. Thank you. I, I'm suggesting that, that, uh, uh, that uh, yes, other states are having uh, struggles uh, in terms of funding higher education. Uh, I just saw a proposal... Uh, yesterday, the, I forget what, uh, what state it is, but it proposes uh, cuts in, in funding higher education 50%. The, the, the challenge we face in Texas is that we start, as I said at the beginning of my remarks, we started so far behind. For example, if, if, you, look at, if you look at California, with all the cuts, all the huge cuts in higher education in California, higher education in California is still funded at uh, substantially higher levels than higher education in Texas is before the cuts, mm -hmm. and that's that's one of the that's one of the things we have to take into account. That uh, we we started far behind and we're trying to catch up to remain economically competitive, uh, and because we know that the segment of the population is growing most quickly is the one that's least well educated, so our educational att attainment. Unless we maintain support for higher education, our educational attainment as a state will go down. Right. That's, and, that's a challenge we face. And I think the unprecedented times that we're going through right now are an excellent time for us to talk about the true core functions of government. What should government do and what should government not do? And I believe with all my heart that education is right there at the core function of what the state of Texas should be doing. Um, I also think that you can take that same core function thing, and I hope the universities will look very carefully at where is the best dollar spent, where do we maximize our dollars, and where are we maybe just um, doing things that would be lovely or something that the Chamber of Commerce could do. So we've had some really good conversations about that, and um, while these are dark times, I think there there can be um, great, great wisdom learned and great things put into practice.